Hello everybody and welcome to New and AW Voltage Episode 3. My name is Danny Jackpot, your West Coast Tag Team Championship, alongside with Joe LaFave. Hello everybody, I'm Joe LaFave, how you doing? Pretty good, pretty good, Joe. I'm sorry I introduced your name wrong. I'm pretty sure you probably went over this like three or four times before the event. As Connor James, the new NAW East signing, making his way to the ring. Connor James with two or three impressive wins in the UNAW so far. He's got a kick-ass looking mask. I, uh, I like uh, his look that he's got going on here. I, I believe this is the first time I've seen him in this mask, and I bet you this probably won't be the last time you see him in this mask and jacket up here. It looks like he's adding a little bit more to his attire tonight. I know, and uh, let's see. Well, hopefully, he can uh, has a good showing against three-time NAW World Champion. Biff and Grant, who you know has to be pissed off, coming off a giant loss at Collision against Norm the Storm Lady, his pit bloodline brother, and Andrew, uh, Andrew nah, Lee pretty that, much pushed Biff into the ladder, which helped Norm pretty much fall into the title belt. I know, I'd be pissed if I were Biff too. Well, Biff wearing that amazing Wave of the Future t-shirt. Th that shirt was made by ass. OPW. They sell it, and it's amazing OPW part of the NAW verse. Joe Omega runs, the, runs into OPW. Give him great credit for what he's done there. Yeah, he's uh, the temporary leader of the industry, as I, uh, so I've heard. As so you and, heard. Uh, and he's uh, one half of the OPW Tag Team Champions with uh, Danny Jackpot. Now, something oh. I'm just happy to notice here is Biff Andreas is worrying. Whoa, as he attacked Connor James. What was I saying? Well, Biff Andreas should not be Jeez, happy fucking about angry. Loss. But Connor James getting the upper hand here on Biff. Man. Who oh, would have like ever... in the uh, upper hand. Whoever, oh, there we go, Biff the veteran now getting the upper hand on Connor, bro. I was going to say whoever had guessed it, Connor would have had the upper hand there in the first minute or so of the match after Biff even sneak attacked him as Connor gains the advantage again. And, uh, Nichi no uh, driver by Connor Nichi James. No driver. Biff Andreas now attacking Connor James here. Biff Andreas, a member of the Bloodline, one of my best Ooh. friends, my brother here in this call company. And the fans just seem to be going after him. Biff. Biff Andreas is a magician, he just, uh, where'd his shirt go? He fucking disappeared, man. What about that mask and that jacket Connor was wearing? Well, anyways, Biff with the upper hand here in this match. Never mind, as soon as I say that, Connor back and forth, this match is going. <sighs> Uh, uh, oh my god, an uh, Irish whip. An American whip that was. Biff and James now with a beautiful drop kick there on Connor James. Even telling the fans, like, damn, did you guys see that? He knows that was spectacular. You better be careful being all cocky like that and fucking taunting. Double R D T DDT yeah. shades of Stevie Richards. I think he was signaling for the wave of the future, but Connor James has caught him here with a nice little comeback. Yes, you like that CD Richards. <laughs> As we got a one. Uh, only a one count there on the three-time AW champion. Gotta do better, Connor. Well, if you're pulling out a CD Richards move. <laughs> As a knee to the back, Ooh, Connor James. Oh! Side. Double He's arm choke hold, choking him with the knee in the back. What pressure applied to Biff here? <laughs> or the crippler. They the both crippler here. I'm surprised he's not on the show, guys. Connor James with a huge clothesline. I bet you I get to the crippler throw up for one of these next bulges, so. I bet you he'd be Hitler. pretty easy to book in one of these matches. He seems oh, to be pretty I open. I thought you said Hitler. You said crippler. I, I said Crippler, I'm not talking about us. Connor James got some huge offense here. Connor James now. Oh my god, Burning Hammer. Oh no, an inverted backbreaker. Oh, no, I'm going to call that the reverse Darren Young finisher. Connor James setting up for something huge there, but Biff being able to reverse. Biff now taking it to Connor. <laughs> 
brother now. He must have spent Ooh. some time down in Mexico learning some moves like that. Maybe training with you, Lucha New, New, yeah, you, the former Western Tag Team Champions. I had a feat. As Vince gets a two count here. <laughs> Vince, now why are you yeah, arguing? That was, clearly, that was uh, actually awesome. a pretty good two, Vince. I mean, I won't lie. That was, you're my buddy. You're my buddy. But what the hell, man? And you're my buddy too, man. I'm glad to be commentating here. Yeah, I know you're right, Joe. I'm talking about my buddy Biff in the ring right there, but Joe, I'm a good buddy. You're my yo. I've known you for a long time. We're probably gonna be roommates the game the other one day. As Biff now taking it to Connor. Biff, big clothesline now, and Connor. Ooh. Biff now get a little bit aggressive here on Connor. This call. Holy fuck, the clothesline. Oh, we th I thought we were going to see a clothesline, but Connor James takes him to Suplex City. Connor James now get a little bit cocky with a three-time world champion, Biff. Big slap oh, in the face. He big slapped him. Going off the ropes. What a suicide dive. Suicide dive by Mike Awesome. You know, <laughs> you know, honestly, I'm so mad at Mike Awesome that he's... No, no, no jokes being made as a big Macho Man Savage elbow from the top post to Biff. What a move there. I'm sorry we did not give that the credit. That move deserved Connor with huge offense here on Biff. Needed a face clothesline combination. Ooh. Wow. Biff's in trouble, clearly. Who would have ever guessed that Connor? Joe, what? I don't know what he just did, but Biff went face first down on him. I don't know what's under there. We switched from, like, Wooden barricades to like, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, our arenas aren't already the best, so I'm not gonna say it's concrete. Sometimes it's concrete, but man, I don't know what's under there tonight, guys. Oh, huge, huge drop kick by oh Biff! Who would have ever guessed Biff? That, was, that is probably one of the most high flyingest moves I've ever seen Biff and Jays pull up in his entire <laughs> career. Oh, Another American there. whip! Oh, the Elijah Express reversal into the the the, the knee to the face right there. Connor James going what an impressive move! I bet you're expecting like a neck breaker, but nah, I need him in the face instead. It's really <laughs> <laughs> It's true. It's, not, it's Connor James now taking it again. Biff and Drake. Connor James now again. This, this is impressive. I mean, we are laughing because it's like it's a little bit of a joke. As Biff is the what? I, I, it, I don't even know what to call what I have just seen. Was that a backslide power bomb, Joe? Was that a backslide power bomb? Oh my God! Baby salt. Finish off! Well, you're never gonna nail Barry so no, because a guy like off, Biff and Jace, who, who has dedicated his career after this, after Daniel Wright oh, has done. That's, that's, that's right, man. Man, how Biff now? He was pissed. He was pissed about that. Yeah, what? Sure. He let go of that too. What? Biff was pissed that he went for the Vader so. What the? I'm Biff mad. has high respect for. But Biff has high respect for Vader. We all seen that at the No Pads, No at the LP, the NAW version of that a long time ago. Connor Hopefully James is done. Do what? And Biff now? He's telling him, "You do not mock Vader." Connor James is just suffering the biggest punishment by making one of the biggest mistakes in his life. Biff and James, he. I almost cried. Oh my God, Biff! Again, letting go of the, letting go of the pants. What is? I'm astounded here. You know what? The, after three, three waves in the future, I got a question. Does he eventually go back to the future? I'm sorry, it's Connor James. Biff is now making him his. Oh my God, Biff! You, I guess you do not install Vader. Coincidentally enough. Biff wearing his red and black. I've been seeing him wear that tire more since Vader's passing. Oh, and that's Paul. It's pin him, Biff. He's done, Mike. I'm feeling yeah, bad for this fine. kid. Connor yeah, James is he's still a rookie in his in, in, in his car career. Godfather's fucking putting back fence cool. right there. And I don't know if any members are wrestling in Garrison or Lamb Cave, but I'm pretty sure that was his Connor Trevor Murdoch. 
breaking a fourth wall right there, everybody. As a super kick, shades of the late great HB. He, he's not later great. Shades of like those dudes in Japan that everyone likes, but like Young Bucks or the new XD. I finally bit the Connor out of his misery. I'm sorry, I stopped talking about that match. Yeah, I stopped paying attention. A pissed off bit from Collision. A pissed off bit from the Vader Moonsault attempt. That that was that spelled the end for Connor after that. Connor probably should have went for that uh, burning hammer, in my honest opinion. You think maybe that he chickened out? Maybe he uh, didn't want to leave his opponent paralyzed. I don't know. Well, maybe but he didn't have the leverage where Biff, who he knows Biff maybe would have landed on his feet and put himself in a compromising position. As we are probably going to see two, three, four, wave of the futures. I don't know what Century Zone is after this one, but I bet you he's in the 24th and 25th. <laughs> maybe Connor just became the future by being hailed by that wave of the future yeah. so much. Biff and Dre still, my bloodline brethren, has... He's coming back on a roll after that huge collision screw job. I'm calling that the collision screw job. No one got lucky. Biff should be a four-time world champion. Look at that guy go. As Danny Jackpot and myself is about to go in there and wrestle Joe Omega. So I'll have to get off the commentating booth for this and let Joe LaFam get I go at it alone. Okay, see ya, Danny. Bye-bye. And here's uh, Joe Omega versus Danny Jackpot. He's got his, uh, he's got, got the finger guns going. Yay. I am not good at commentary. Uh, WWE Live. Yay. Oh, right here in Paris, Vance. Everybody oh, Paris, Vance. This wee is wee. your Mexican host here. Andre. I'm here to help Biff Andreas out. And he's the cruiser he's the Empire Cruiserweight champion. I, I believe I believe that is the he is the uh is that the Empire Cruiserweight <laughs> Championship? <laughs> and for the the commentator here found you Joe Omega with the Empire Force Empire Cruiserweight <laughs> Championship! What's that stuff on his shirt? Looks like jizz. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about, Pip, but I have a little bit of pressure. I have a little bit of pressure. <laughs> and here comes the greatest guy, Danny Jackpot. He makes my parents go wild. I love this guy. Ah! <laughs> Danny Jackpot, Danny Jackpot. It's the greatest of all time. Remember what title he's holding? Uh, I assume it's Empire. Tag Team Championship. Pip, and he holds along with Zack Star, who I happily forgot his belt at home. That's why he did not went to the ring for his match earlier tonight. All right, WWF. <laughs> All right, the NWWF Takeover. <laughs> if you forget about that. And uh, what do you think of Danny Jackpot's attire? Kind of looks like uh, I love Danny too. And this should be one hell of a match between the new Crusade member leader and the bloodline leader, as you but most people would say, and I know I would say, Danny fucking Jackpot! With the huge suplex! I'm Joe Omega! You call him Danny, you say it's just good you! I think there's a fan giving another fan a rim job in the audience. This will be very funny! That would be very surprising, Ben! And Joe has some offense here right now! I it's think there might be exposure. a technical foul if someone's out there giving a limb job out there to somebody! Close <laughs> right now, my name is Jackpot! <laughs> and then Jackpot's there now! Oh my god, my god, my god, my god, Jackpot! And the only thing that came on number one!
it's Danny! No, he's not! Because Danny's a big man in the sport! Jones, too! But and Danny, don't be a caution! You call! Call icon! That's just my opinion. Pip, go on with this match and tell me your thoughts! Which one of these two guys, Joe? Which one of these two guys? Big Danny's best friend who we had just seen earlier tonight! He's now taking on the new Crusade member, Joe Almeida! As Jose Cedo did commentary here, Brother Danny Jasper was about to nail his suplex on Joe Almeida, the British sensation across As the you nation! Know, the suplex is the most dangerous move of all, in all of wrestling. That was once a wrestler back in my day who was named Sue, and her last name was Plex. And the finisher was the lane drop! Russian leg sweep. And Danny Jampa wants to get on the offense! But then, Danny Jampa got it on! Oh, I'm trying to see if I can see it on! I'm trying to see if I can see it on! There's been tears to my eyes! As I know how much that move means to Danny Jampa! There's a black man in the orange suit. He's doing a lot of resiliency. He wants some black man stuff. And uh, oh my God, reversal. Time world champion and I couldn't see who that is. Looks like some fucking guy from 205 Live. Is right there. I just think that was a distraction there, but what, but what the cause it? You just see a giant on a white Hawaiian Hawaii nightmare man. there. Hit some of Matt Icon's finisher. What was that not a three? Of course not, because it's Danny Jackpot! <laughs> I have to get Danny to Joe Omega though! He time. is the former Multimate Champion! He was caught off guard by the Mirror Barnes! Oh, he gets fucked in the face. Or not fucked in the face, he gets hit in the face with his, uh, his knee. Top rope. You know what the last thing is? Never mind, never mind. And he does a flip. Oh, oh one oh, good KO! One good KO! Now he needs to hold it! But Joe Omega's down! I guarantee it! Is it over, folks? I can see his crotch. Oh! There's a dirty spot over here! I have to go clean it really quickly! Oh, fuck. Oh, you pussy, Joe. Get back here and fight. Oh, my God. It's, it's DJ Nicholson, who's guy from the New Crusade. I can't believe what I'm on. I can't believe what I'm seeing. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Powerbomb. And, uh, 
Oh, he was gonna go for that boxing crab, but it looks like it didn't work. Oh, threw him into that table. And he's contemplating what he's gonna do. Near the stomach. Clearly, as you can uh, listen to my commentary, I'm the greatest commentator you've ever lived. Whoa, what happened? Oh. <laughs> 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 <sighs> Jose, are you all right? Jose, are you all right? I think Jose. I'm okay. We need EMG help for Jose. Where's Zach at? Danny, are you okay? Are you okay? No, no okay, is, what's happening with that? Uh, he's kicking Joe Omega's ass. Where, where's that little bitch, oh TJ Nicholson? He's, he's, TJ, you're gonna pay for what you did out of there! Zach, where are you? Zach! Super kick. I hope it was my dad. I'm sweaty. I'm very hot and sweaty. Me too, Joel. That was hard. Are you, are you around for that? What happened with Zach? Oh my god, Mountain Range what? Championship. What happened with Zach? I'm... Okay, uh, Al Cabrera got his ass kicked by uh, Amir Barnes and Old. Well, well, he's gonna get his, wait, uh, I got a headset on. Jose is, Jose is, Jose is being stretchered out. As, uh, Zach got, Zach got him? Zach got him? Good. Zach got Joe good. TJ, we're coming for you next. We're, you're getting revenge on you. Western Tag Team Championship, you guys want that? It's on. TJ, we're coming for you, nigga. Al Cabrera making his way to the wings. His last velocity, he lost his uh, hardcore championship. But he's a huge opportunity here. As the shot that was stolen from him is now being granted to him against, well, an I'm undefeatable born, opponent, man. Amir Barnes. I'm not sure. Oh, like, my, uh... oh my God. Joe, buddy, yes, leave Jose in there. I can take care of Jose is stretching out right now. I don't know if we'll ever see her back, but maybe one day we will. Who was that Jose guy that I was commentating with? It was just some fans in the audience. It was Jose Cuervo. It was a Jose Cuervo. She's a very manly speaking woman, okay? Oh. Maybe should she identify as a woman or? I mean, she uh, like a... Biff, we don't ask these questions when Amir Barnes is coming out. And, and the short amount of time this man has became the Mountain Range Championship. So there it is, right on the uh, title plate. It says Mountain Range, so it must be the Mountain Range Championship. And I think I, I, I think that belt... Uh, I, I think we might have lost like the HD version somewhere, but either way, Al Cabrera has a huge opportunity here, and I'm, I'm not saying it's a huge opportunity to win this match. He has a huge opportunity to get his ass kicked <laughs> as, as he gets a take it to him. Yeah, I don't know how how well he's gonna do, but it's an opportunity nonetheless. You know what though? Okay, I'm going to say right now, with Al's credit, by the way, Joe Omega, TJ, you guys are bitches. Anyways, to Al's credit, during both Butch Simpson and Joe Omega's title reigns, which by the way, again, you're a bitch getting pinned by Al, he pinned both Mountain Range champions. During their title reigns. Whoa, he's blowing my head. So if he pins this one, he's pinned all three, and maybe he's all, he deserves to be the champion, but... He's facing Amir Barnes. Wait, pinned all three who? Al all and the T and, and the whatever the old PW event they're holding, Al pinned Butch when he was Mountain Range champion. 
Oh, a, shit, yeah. Yeah, shit. within a day, he pinned Joe Omega. Or within two days, he, Joe Omega won the belt. Like, he's pinned both Mountain Range champions previous to Amir. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's right. That's how he earned his shot. Like and Al is actually taking it to Amir right now. Give Al a little bit of credit. Al has been a good hand here in Noon AW. His attitude has changed since the last time, since maybe that voltage since I returned. I think that in the future, Al might uh, get pretty get far. I mean, I think he might uh, he's improving. become Let's a pretty good superstar in the future. I mean, he's a rookie now, but I I mean, as you can I, see, I, he's I, got I, sparks of uh, Thomas. Hey, everyone jokes about this guy in the locker room, and I love It's like, man, I love the guy. Like, how, how do you not love him ever? <laughs> get this guy over. He's hilarious. I mean, Amir's a monster. I mean, um, yeah, unfortunately, like... Amir's a monster, and he is picking apart Al right now. And there's not a chance Al... At, I mean, if Al keeps pulling oh, all moves like that, is Al, is Al really thinking that he might... Is Amir calling a ropes on Al, or is he, is he playing possum here? Can you imagine what kind of an upset it would be? What? He moves Al that the Amir, Amir Barnes has to roll out of the ring! I think that just caught him off guard. But that didn't. Ooh, massive headbutt. He's discombobulated. Oh! And he's going for the... <clears throat> massive crucifix powerbomb by Amir. Uh, I think oh. Al's chances of winning have slimmed down. Quite a bit right here. I think. Playing mind games possibly Al with each other. Al just kicked a mirror. Who would have ever guessed that? Kick to the gut. Oh! What? Spinning DDT there. On the bear. That, that mat. I'm not sure how thick that mat is. I ain't gonna lie to you, but they are. I don't know what's under it. Amir though, <laughs> throwing, throwing Al down like he's he's nothing, like he's a rag doll. Well, he kind of is nothing, but man, man, could you imagine at the end of this match, we see Al, oh my god, never mind. Uh, I couldn't even finish my statement after that kick. You ain't seen no Al Cabrera walk away with the Mon Rain Championship. Jeez, manhandling him. And our security here at ringside. Making sure the fans don't jump over the barricade for any of these announce table spots. Making sure Al doesn't die tonight. Right. You know some of them, Corey Graves. You see uh, Brian Saxon and in the middle, Michael Cole. Sometimes our commentators here who have seem to be getting replaced by us because they, they, they get very repetitive. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how thick that uh, padding is on the outside. I can honestly care less because the mirror just bringing it to Al. Thick like a fat girl on Tumblr. Anyways, we got a two count here, and no, it's not a three. This is going on a lot longer than I expected, if I can be quite honest with you. This match, I know what you're saying. I mean, I didn't think that L would be able to survive this long. I mean, credit, I'll give credit where credit is due. I do too. Al, like I said, this is, this is, this is the biggest opportunity of his career, and he's given all of his heart. And maybe Amir took Al a little lightly here. I mean, you yeah, do maybe see he how quickly. Him. Exactly. As Al pulls off something that I would have never expected to see in a new NAW. Shades of Cesaro. Shades of a former new NAW Intercontinental Champion Cesaro, which which may bring him almost bring a mid card championship to Al Cabrera like Al coming off a big loss to Mike Ballard in the NAW vs Hardcore Championship match may pick up gold very quickly and oh the mirror just takes him down. Back suplex though by Al. I won't mm. lie. Al is putting up way more offense than I would have ever guessed. Elbows for the uh, solar plex. 
Well, anyways, Joe, is Al gets a one. Only a one kill against the mirror. Tell me, Joe, what's going on with the wife? I haven't seen you in the commentary booth in quite a while. What happened with that last time you did Jerry Max? Well, uh, it's been a while since I did, uh, commentated for Jerry Max, but I'm going for my bachelor's in uh, business management. That's going very well. I'm running my own business. Makes like a grand a day. I'm glad to hear well. that. And oh my god, uh, it might be the end for L. Now, an interesting fact uh, Danny Jackpot, Biff, and Darius might be moving in together very close to you in Florida. As Amir Barnes oh. immediately, oh my god, he has this choke on hands over it. Amir Barnes has choked him out. Amir Barnes has choked him out. Oh, Cabrera, he only did not last long in that move. Amir Barnes picking up an impressive victory here against Al Cabrera. Maybe not the most impressive as you would think. I'll put him quite, quite, quite a bit of offense against maybe Amir Barnes who wasn't expecting it. And here we go. We got Extreme Tony, the playmaker, going up against Lamarcus Carter, who's hot uh, off of his uh, 10 0 victories from Sean Dynasty. Man, and one of my favorite quotes, I think it's on the Converse forums. Uh, it says he steamrolled over him for 10 episodes. And as the playmaker Extreme Tony comes out, he has to remember Extreme Tony is no Sean Dynasty. Or not who Sean Dynasty was, uh. You know what? what he was I mean, Sh I mean Sean Dynasty. He's getting pushed to the moon. Not in that sense, but I mean he's an astronaut. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Perhaps Lamarcus will get he's, a, he's on a rocket right there. Extreme Tony. Uh, Extreme Tony, one of the best in call. I'm sorry to not giving this guy more respect. I don't care because he's beating me in college, Asian. <laughs> I, I, you know, I've given him enough respect as it is. But I mean, Sean Dynasty is on a rocket right to the top. <laughs> <laughs> rocket straight to the top. Oh my god, right to the top of the new HW universe. <laughs> well, here comes Lamarcus Carter. Lamarcus Carter, Milan. Central's old champion. Milan, this York, guy Japan. round and call a new NAW superstar. Not that I don't like Extreme, Extreme Tony being a part of this roster. Lamarcus Carter makes himself feel proud. It makes you, he comes out proud. He looks proud. He looks great. And he looks great with that title. And he loves that title. He looks great with that selfie stick. He is Lamarcus Carter, a beast at six foot seven, destroying Leo Rush on recent WEDF NXT, which is part of the NAW verse. I've been very impressed with uh, Carter lately, to be honest with you. He had that fantastic match over in NXT with Leo Rush, and uh, he's he's been very proud to hold that championship around his waist, and uh, hopefully he'll be able to hold on to it. After this match, I don't know what his chances are. I'm just going mean, to throw out there right now, that no matter uh, who the champion is in the situation, um, unless, you know, God Almighty himself was in the ring as a champion, Extreme Tony is the biggest challenger that this belt has ever had. I mean, just having Extreme Tony in this match for the title, I think it just ups the prestige. I mean, like, look at the uh, audience that it drew. Like, this is a voltage, and this is one. Of, this is one of the bigger audience I've actually seen for a new NAW show. You, I mean, you do see seats empty, but Carter and Extreme Tony, like, people wanted to see the show. They're, they're, not, I, I mean, I believe, if we're not mistaken, we're here in Paris, France. Uh, lots of French. We're, we're, we're audience not here, here in tonight. Paris, France. I hate the graphics team. They always screw with us. They want to have to think that we're in these cool places. We're in the new NAW Voltage Arena, and, buddy. Wait, hold we're on. in the, the Voltage Arena. The corner says marry me. They want to marry Lamarcus Carter. I, who won him at six foot seven? Look at that stud. You know what? Everyone calls him the underdog in this match, but he is the champion. An extreme Tony coming off a huge six-man tag team loss at college. He lost, they lost to the Anarchists, if I'm not mistaken. 
a uh, team led by Sherman Sampson, the uh, head champion of XGWL. You know, XGWL, a huge product that Tony's worked for for a long time, has won multiple championships, and a former new NAW world champion himself. Uh, Lamarcus Carter, I think, and Extreme Tony might have held the... And Lamarcus one. has the early advantage, going for that headlock. Who would have guessed, you know, Extreme Tony is a master in the technician and high-flying and powerful techniques. He's got the strength to compete in the heavyweight division, and he also has the agility. I guess that NFL preseason is going on right now, Biff, right? Absolutely. I guess I just made the most 1980s or 90s football reference in my whole commentating career. Thank you, Joe. Man, why do I want to call you Biff? I get along with you just like you're my buddy, Biff. You sound like him too, <laughs> Joe. I, I see you guys hang out, but like... I, uh, maybe you're his imaginary friend or something. I'm just going crazy. If I'm not mistaken, uh, I'm not that big. I'm not really that big on football either. But I believe Extreme Tony has the colors of the Steelers. Is that the colors? Or it could have been the Dodgers. Nearby. Let's think San Diego is the Chargers. Ah! Yeah. Ah! Oh my God, Biff! I'm sorry. I got you on that one. <laughs> And I'm That's breaking okay, the man. fourth wall all over tonight. As this voltage episode, I promise you, has been a great jam-packed action with probably a more entertaining comedy or maybe mm. the most annoying entertaining commentary of the entire week. But guess what? We came off college and we deserve a break. We deserve this. I don't know what's going on with those other shows right now, but this is what we Honest wanted to, to do. God. Honest to God, this is a huge matchup here. I mean... This I mean, is a huge imagine Extreme Tony is the Central Zone champion. Well, I mean, and maybe like, I don't know, six or seven minutes we'll know if that'll happen or not. As the Marcus Carter again has the uh, advantage on Extreme Tony, I wouldn't be surprised here. I mean, he is a legend in his own right. Now, the largest cutter came up short at collision, just like Extreme Tony. Remember that great mm. match that he was in at collision? <coughs> Absolutely. <I'm... coughs> Sorry, I was choking. I can hear that. I think it's in the water. And Extreme Tony nails up. I'm going to call that an inverted project popper. As you can tell, me and Biff have already, uh, me and Joe already call it a night here on our both commentary special because we love doing this sometimes, but tonight was one of those nights for, what were we put out here again, Joe? What were we put out here again? We I, uh, commentated. Uh, I, 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 I believe we were booked for a different show, and well, unfortunately, no, we did Biff and Reyes versus Connor. We did uh, Joe Omega versus Danny. And we did, uh... No, I'm saying, though, what we, how, how do we even end up commentating here tonight? I believe we were supposed to be doing a different show, but I'm glad to be here right now in this situation because... I'm... That's right. It's closer to the home. just getting a Gatorade here. I'm really hot. Oh, yeah, you have to get something to drink, man. Also, yeah. you know what? Assistant, I know he has to go walk and grab his own water. I have an assistant right here asking the waters. So I can now commentate this match and tell you right now, Carter giving it to Extreme Tony. As I promised, I will give you the last five minutes of serious commentary I can give you. Well, Marcus Carter taking it to Extreme Tony now. It would be, I don't know if and I can just, an upset. Oh, you oh, bitch, you're back to grab your water. BDTs. Will it be enough? How many DDTs was that? I mean, uh... It was I lost enough count. that Jason Roberts would be pretty proud. Spiking his head straight to the mat. Extreme Tony might have well, a good Marcus Carter, is he intentionally trying to get disqualified here in that match? Or, or, I mean, or was he, he does have to argue with the referee there? He would walk away with the belt. Th that would be smart. I, I never thought about that in this situation. I, I, I always thought about who's going to win, Carter or Tony, but... As you know, a championship belt can't change hands by disqualification here in NAW. But has Carter ever, like, 
a, a car that just started everybody until he's on the ring with Tony. And again, how many people last this long with Tony even? Smith himself was not able I mean, to last well, this long with Tony a few times. Whew. I believe that was the Padre Popper. Averted Padre Popper. It could be a Padre Popper 2.0, 3.0. Extreme Tony trying out some oh different variations of moves tonight here in a new AW ring. Did you ring. Ever just pick out of a Padre Popper, man? It wouldn't be the first time. I remember Vic kicked out of a Padre Popper. I was surprised to see that. And Leanne even kicked out of one, I believe, at one point. <sighs> Must I say, though, Leanne... I know, but it's always... Did, did, did Leanne Wait, get screwed over at what's, what's going on here? Wait a second, what is Carter what is he doing? doing? Oh my god! You ladies Dude. the Yank would be proud with that one! Excuse my language. I'm just. Extreme Tony might be dead. Uh, oh my god, if he isn't dead before that, he is after that one. I don't know how we can continue after that pile driver off the apron. Carter now with a mm. big advantage. I didn't think Carter would be able to find a way to get out of this. But. If, if Carter, if Carter pins Tony one, two, three, right now, he busted Tony open. He busted Tony, Tony open. Tony with the crimson mask. Two, three. We have it. No, I don't want this in. We have one of the biggest. Up That's intentionally trying to Carter get this qualified. What did we just see? Carter, I, I think he's, he's in so much shock that he knows nothing go else to keep him down. But he decided against it. Tony now getting the advantage. As I have to remind everybody again, Joe and Megan, TJ Nicholson, we know you're still in the building. We are still looking for you guys better get out because I'll be out of here soon, I promise you. I hope TJ Nicholson gets a fine or some sort of suspension or something. I don't want them to get fines or suspensions. I'll see them next week. <laughs> Guarantee you. It's Extreme Tony now. With a cover there on Carter and I'm getting it. Extreme Tony after this match. I mean, I think he's going to have to have a visit with our... our uh, on physician Dr. Tain MD and taking the fight to the outside here now Carter again with a big advantage here on Tony mm. Carter now Carter. clearly we're both exhausted from this very entertaining match throwing off a fan now Wait, what? Carter, you're going the wrong Carter, way. Carter, don't do this. Is, is this a replay of Chapter 3? Is he gonna is taking the cheap way out? Or is he taking a long break that he needs? Tony's back his turn. Carter's running back! Carter's running back! Tony's back his turn! Tony tur And Tony turns around and Carter just immediately dips out we will never get the answer tony wins the match but not the championship here on this voltage probably the biggest voltage main event ever 